Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. This is an energy check-in. So let's just see what's going on with my Cancers. Let's just see. Please don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Please don't forget to hit the like button. All right, for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Current situation for Cancer. We have the bull right here. Oh, excuse if you hear my children. Like, they're kind of being loud out there. I can hear them, so. Y'all know, parent life, mom life. Okay. What's in Cancers? Okay. Okay. We have the cane. Pay attention to your health. Okay. And I don't know why I'm getting this. There's someone in your energy that has really, like, red eyes. Um, there's something going on with someone's eyes here, Cancer. Um, this is not for everyone, but I'm picking up on someone with, like, red eyes. Okay. Let's see. It's the obstacle. We have the obstacle. Okay, and we need advice. All right. All right, and I don't know why I'm hearing save the date. Some of you may, may have recently had to save a date right here. The rainbow is actually clarified by this gift. So we got a diamond. Okay, so Cancer, what I'm seeing currently in your energy is there has something to do with you not backing down from opposition. Because I see that in your thoughts, there's something to do with, like, paying attention to your health. And I was literally seeing someone with red eyes. There's something to do with, like, a health issue. Or maybe you're dealing with a situation where it's affecting your health because you're not supposed, you're not backing down to opposition, all right? I'm also seeing there's something to do with um, a financial pinch because whatever this is, it's um, affecting like your finances in a way. You may have recently had to pay like some type of major bill. I'm seeing something, someone here may have had their car towed or something, or either had your car towed or willingly, or you had to pay because you needed your car towed somewhere. This is um, clarification for someone. Let me see what else is happening. Tell me more about this. Don't back down. From opposition show strength because cancer you're not backing down right now and you're showing strength when it comes to some situation in your life what is this yeah cancer I see currently you're not backing down to opposition because there's something that's telling you to follow your instincts on this Whatever this is, like you're following your instincts and you're like, nah, my instincts are telling me not to um, back down. And there's something to do with you not going a certain dire direction as well. It's like your instincts told you not to go a certain direction and to not back down. I don't know why I'm seeing pearls. I'm seeing pearls. I feel like your instinct was also telling you to release something. Are you, need are you needing to release something? Why is pay attention to your health here? What is this with this health thing? I'm hearing we fall down, but we get up. You're coming off very strong. Bad health, look. I can't make this up. It's clarified by bad health. There's some type of message of concern um, that's coming through here, Cancer. And it has something to do with someone in bad health. And I feel like you are worried about this person because they are in bad, bad health. Let's see. I don't know why I'm getting this is for someone. This is a random ass message, but I'm getting a search warrant has been ordered. Whoever this is, um, 
I'm supposed to say this. There's a search warrant that has been open, um, has been ordered in there, and I'm seeing an image of them opening up someone's garage and looking in a freezer, looking at stuff. I see stuff wrapped up. Um, I don't know if this is drugs or whatever it kept. I don't where where you keep coke. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know because I'm seeing specifically possibly cocaine or something. Um, what it looks like wrapped up in something that's a freezer. I don't know if the freezer is turned on. I don't know what temperature you keep it in. I, now I'm overthinking. I, I overthink. But there's something to do with the search warrant being older. They're busted. I'm seeing the um, I'm seeing the uh, imprisonment card. That's for someone here. They need to hear that and that's what's going down. Um, for some of you, this is going down well, for the person that I'm speaking to, because this isn't all cancers, the person that I'm speaking to, this is happening on a Tuesday. I'm seeing a Thursday as well. Um, you may be hearing about this on a Monday. There's somebody's busted. Okay, let's get back. <laughs> okay, the financial pinch here. We have privileged lady right here. Oh. Cancer, and we have unexpected income. There's something to do with um, whatever this situation is that you're dealing with where you're not backing down and you're following your instincts and your instincts are telling you you need to release something and not go a certain direction. At the same time, you're concerned about someone's health. Maybe you want to help this person but you feel like you're in a financial pinch, you're going to receive some type of unexpected income to help you with this. Um, your guides and ancestors are trying to tell you that the most difficult part of the situation is over. You're going to receive a precious gift. And look at this. It's someone handing someone some, something. And then we have the diamond right here. Tell me more. What is the situation where you're not backing down? What is the situation where you're not backing down? Give me a second. What is this that you're not? You know what? I want to go back to my other deck. What is the situation that Cancer's not backing down from? And they're showing a lot of strength. This has something to do with someone who had a facade in your life. That was, um, they had a facade. It's like they created some type of facade. It's like you see through this person. I'm also getting a message here about something about someone's, um, someone's fake at work. I don't know what this is, but some of you are dealing with someone who's fake at work, um, like they've created some type of facade at work or something for someone here. And I'm hearing they're a maniac. Someone, some of you are dealing with a maniac at work. Tell me more. And I'm hearing they drive you crazy. This person might drive you crazy. Yeah, whoever this is that created some type of facade or something, you are married to them or you're in some type of, um, some type of contract with this person. Someone's lying, I'm getting. This person's lying and that's why you're like not, um... You're not backing down because they, they're they lying. For some reason, I feel like Cancer, you're not backing down because there's someone here. This person right here has created some type of lie. When I see creation and facade together, uh, for some reason, I'm getting something to do with someone lying. Lying on you or lying about something um, that you're 
that you're in some type of business arrangement with or you've been married to and you're not backing down. Yeah, this person is a thief. Whoever this is, like, it has something to do with this person um, being a thief, stealing something. Um, maybe even stealing your idea or something. I don't know. There's there's something going on there. Um, take it as it resonates. Tell me about this. Pay attention to your health, this bad health that's in Cancer's thoughts. Okay. Cancer, you could be um, worried about a child's health, and this involves a mature male, or maybe you're in, for some of you, just flip it, take it as it resonates, or it can be um, basically a mature male, you're worried about their health and how it's going to affect a child. How it's going to affect the child. Why is this? Or the child could be something you create. Or if you don't have a child, it could be something you created. Yeah, we have self-love here. What is this? We have accident. We have justice and accident. Okay, so you're going to be hearing about someone um, in bad health. This was in your thoughts and actions right here. You're going to be hearing about someone in bad health. And I feel like it it's going to be this person. I feel like it's going to be this person that's created some type of facade. I feel like they created some type of lie for some reason. Um, and you're not backing down. I feel like you're going to hear about their bad health. That's where this reading is going. Um, for some of you, you've had a child with this person. Or you've created something of value with this person. There's a child involved in some way, and it involves some type of mature male. And it's interesting because this person is in bad health because you have self-love for yourself. Um, I'm also getting this person's in bad health because that's all they did was be concerned with themselves. That's all they did was be concerned with themselves. And now there's some type of justice happening or they're going to be in some type of danger or some type of injury. Like some type of danger or some type of injury. I feel like this person was trying to bribe somebody. They're in trouble, whoever this is. And I'm literally seeing um, something fleeting. Like their thoughts are fleeting. Why am I seeing thoughts fleeting? I don't know what that, um, one of my subscribers says, don't, stop saying, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to try to stop. It's a habit. Um, cause I know, but I'm trying to put them, put it together with, with psychic work. It's like, you're trying to put the puzzle, um, puzzle. Why do I want to say puzzle? <laughs> the puzzle together. There could be a puzzle involved. I don't even know if that puzzle is a right, is a thing. But anyway, there's something about their thoughts, like leaving them. Whatever this, whatever this is, this person, something about a loss of consciousness or something. I, there has, I like something about their thoughts leaving them. What the heck? Let me use this other deck. Tell me more. This person was very um, selfish. Yeah, this could be something to do with. Oh, Lord. Look at this. The bride card. This has something to do with this person, like, trying to do some type of magic on you. Um, now they're about to be in, bad, like, bad health. They're about to be in bad health. They they probably paid a practitioner or tried to pay, pay someone to put you in bad health um, to do something to you. And now um, something's backfired on them. And if you're worried, Cancer, 
right now because I feel like for some of you, you may have to probably have made a big purchase of some sort. You're about to receive some type of help. For some of you, it's like legal aid or something. Some you got some legal aid. I don't know. I gotta stop saying I don't know. <laughs> now I'm just gonna keep saying it more. <laughs> I do know. I know. <laughs> um, there's something to do with you getting some unexpected income for some type for this financial pinch that you're in at this moment. Yeah. Look. You're about to receive a message from a wealthy male. Yeah, you're about to receive a material harvest. While this other person... Oh, Lord, I'm not even liking some of the stuff that I'm hearing, so I'm not going to say what I'm hearing. But, um... Lord, what was this person doing? I'm seeing boogie nights. Like, this person... Whoever was working against you, changing perspective. This person is changing their perspective about you. Um, they're changing their perspective about you, I'm getting. Because um, I'm getting like Boogie Nights. Uh, if y'all know the, the movie Boogie Nights, why does my music keep turning off? Where they're like just doing whatever. And this person was probably having several partners. Maybe about, about several partners, drugs, sex. Something has been going on with them. Um, and I'm also getting something about the creep show. Um, tell me more about what's going on with this person. I'm going to bully. This person was trying to bully you. But you're doing a, a great job by not backing down from this person. Oh, Lord. We have the the daydream, creativity. This something about this person getting creative. It, something about your enemy was trying to get um, creative with someone. They could have had someone else involved because they were trying to win something. Oh, yeah, they didn't listen. They didn't listen, and look. Now they're sick. This person has like some type of disease. Something's going on with this person. And you're going to get a message about this. Something's going on with this person. Because they kept doing some weird stuff to you. And it's interesting. I was getting. Um, and I'm seeing Carol Basket. Cancer. Let me tell you some money. Cancer, there's something not so great about to happen to this person. Um, they're on the decline, I'm getting. Like, something about this person, and I'm getting something about a root worker. Whatever this was that they were doing, it was a horrible, horrible idea. I'm hearing it was instant death. And I'm seeing the word for both, the practitioner and this person. Whatever they were trying to do, they they chose the wrong one. They really did. They really did. Because um, I'm also seeing, I got this message earlier, whoever this person is, they're experiencing paranormal activity. Okay? They're experiencing, and this is your ancestors and just the universe giving them back what they were trying to give you. I'm hearing something about an insanity spell. They were trying to make it, make it seem like, try to make you crazy, make you go crazy and have you, have you locked up. Maybe you have recently, in the past, felt a little confused. And it's like they were doing magic like that. I don't know. Crown chakra ma magic. What's happening to this person at night is bad. They're having paranormal experiences. They're hearing... I'm hearing that song, Footsteps. And they're hearing footsteps. They're hearing freaking footsteps and they're by themselves. They don't have anybody else around them. I don't even think they want to stay in their home anymore because they feel like their house is haunted. Anytime they're by them by themselves, they, something happens. I literally heard a door slam. They were, I'm seeing someone laying in bed and a door slams for no reason. There's nobody else in the house. 
your ancestors and guides are giving them hell and whatever this i'm hearing the boogeyman whatever this demonic force or whatever they sent on you it's dragging them it's coming to collect in all ways in all ways cancer like it's coming for that ass like for real it's scary it's damn scary um this is scary like <laughs> this is scary they created their own scary movie it's this is stupid <laughs> I'm always calling it stupid, but this is, this is insane what I'm seeing. This is insane. And I'm hearing sleep, sleep with one eye open ninja <laughs> for my people. <laughs> Your ancestors are saying they, he needs, he or she needs to sleep with one eye open because I'm seeing something recently happen something else that recently happened to them they were laying on their bed specific i'm getting like specific to their they were facing the wall i'm seeing them lying in bed and they look over because they feel a presence and they see something now this is not anything of this world standing at the foot of their bed and then it moves quickly this is some weird stuff they're seeing they're seeing these things because of this like crown chakra trying to make you seem crazy so they're losing sleep and that's probably why i'm seeing the thoughts being fleeting they're losing sleep people are concerned about them at work they're acting funny because they're not sleeping very well they can't sleep and i'm hearing something about um cancer you guys are saying you will hit them high as you hit them low they want you to continue to not back down to this person because they are, they are getting dragged, like for real. They are seeing some crazy stuff in their house. They have, and they can't even talk to nobody about it. Because if they do, they're going to be looked at as crazy. They're going to be looked at as crazy. And that's what they get. I'm hearing that's what you get. Nobody's going to believe them. Nobody's going to believe them. Some people will believe them, but some people are going to think they're a little crazy. We have a gift right here. <clears throat> You're going to be receiving some type of gift. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Robbery. This person had an idea to like take something from you. The gift. But you're actually going to be receiving a gift. There's something to do with um, them trying to take away a gift. It's like that's their idea and it has something to do with robbing. Like robbing you. For some of you, you may have been, you're, you may be gifted and they want to like do something so where you can't see. But I'm hearing, I always feel like somebody's watching me. This person's like at home, like always feeling like somebody's watching them. This is scary as hell. <laughs> I'm also hearing, okay, I'm seeing the pots and pans being banged. What I'm seeing with the pots and pans being is something about this is symbolic. They were trying to destroy your peace. They were trying to destroy your peace. Anytime you were trying to be peaceful, trying to just move on, something would happen. They would do something stupid. So now it's all I'm hearing. Is it worth it? I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. <laughs> they flipped that. Your ancestors and God flipped it and reversed it on them. Uh, I'm hearing sorry and I'm, I'm not sorry. They don't, your, your guides and ancestors don't care. They don't care. They want this person to continue to sleep with one eye open. Yeah. We have family right here. You may have had a family right with this person. You know, this could be a family member of yours. We have travel. Bottom of the deck. Something about traveling. This person may be trying to travel to you. Conflict was at the bottom. Traveling. Or you may need to travel towards them. Mm. We have family. Adventure. This person is really rethinking what they did. That's what I'm getting with this. With the family. The bond. It seems like at one point you were really close to this person. This person is really um, considering traveling to you. 
and there's something about this person said something to you and they really they want to apologize you may get a message about them apologizing for something they said to you like there was some type of harsh word said to you they they may want to apologize because now they're looking at mer um, memories and they're thinking of like committing to you like trying to make something right but I really feel like cancer, honestly, they're trying to make something right because they're like seeing, they're literally seeing demons in their house. I'm not, <laughs> they seen one. I, I don't know what that is in my third eye that I saw, but that would scare the hell out of me. I'd want to move. Like that scene in the Emilyville horror where um, the, the first, is it Emilyville horror? When they all, the mom and the kids all ran out screaming, I would, I would run. That, that blow the whole house up. I don't know what that was. But if you're seeing stuff like that, you really done messed up. I'm also getting that this person may be trying to become super religious now. Something about them possibly trying to become super religious because they're scared of what they've done. Like they're trying to now, I see an image of someone sitting and reading the Bible with a glass. with glasses on they trying to make sure they see they read every word properly but, mm, well <laughs> you gonna learn today yep the moon secrets they may have been doing something under the moon which is called burdens in their life <laughs> yep now they want to cleanse the energy um having a big tower right here they're having a major tower They're having a tower because they're realizing that you were the abundance. I'm hearing winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're the winner. Yeah, space. You need to continue having space from this person and listening to God. All right. That's all I have. This is crazy. I don't even think Sage is going to help um, with what they're seeing in their home. I would literally not want to stay there um, at all. Like Sage isn't going to help that. And it, they they don't have a whole lot of money to keep going to a hotel. <laughs> Why am I laughing? It's, it's funny. I'm sorry. All right, Cancer. That's the reading I have for you tonight. Well, today. It's like it's getting dark right now. I love you guys so much. Also, if you feel like you need your own personal reading, click on the description box. And there you'll see my link to my Etsy shop. There you can book a personal reading with me. I love you guys. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.